compound behind me is located in the heart of the Judean mountains, south of Jerusalem, and it is one of the most sacred places for Western monotheistic religions. No, we are not in Jerusalem. We are about 40 kilometers south of it. Welcome to the Tomb of the Patriarchs. The first mention of this site is in the book of Genesis in chapter 23, the times of Abram and Sarah. Sarah lived to be 127 years old, but she died at Kiryat Arba, that is Hebron. Abram then buys a burial plot outside the city and after completing the purchase, Abram buried his wife Sarah in the cave in the field of Machpelah near Mamre, which is at Hebron. Here the sign is indicating that this is the tomb mark of Sarah. Her physical remains is probably beneath us on a lower level. And the book of Genesis records that later, Abram, his son Isaac, his grandson Jacob, and their wives were also buried in this burial plot. The only exception would be Rachel, Jacob's second and favorite wife who died at childbirth and so is buried at Rachel's tomb some 20 kilometers north of here. This is the earliest event in the Bible of explaining why Hebron is so significant. And centuries later, David, when taking the throne, will also establish his capital here in Hebron before moving to Jerusalem. On the turn of the first century, a big esplanade will be built above the whole site, probably by King Herod. And the site will become a focal point, a place of veneration for the Jews at the time. The site changed hands several times in the Middle Ages and after the Crusaders were expelled, it will remain under Muslim control for several centuries. In fact, here you can see the Ottoman Crescent from Turkish times. Until 1967, Jews were rarely allowed to visit the area of the site. They weren't allowed even to go in. They couldn't go beyond the seventh step leading into the entrance. But as a result of the Six-Day War, 1967, among others, the Tomb of the Patriarchs will be under Israeli sovereignty. And now the site is open for people of all faiths, welcoming them to come and worship and pray at this very special holy site. Less visited and less known are the rich remains of Canaanite and Israelite city of Hebron, set on a hill above the patriarchal tomb complex. It's important to understand that the burial cave is not in the city of Hebron in Canaanite times. It is a mile away from the city itself. These are the tangible remains of the Canaanite city. And that means that Abraham probably walked right here to enter the city gate around the corner seeking for Ephron, the owner of the property that he wished to buy for a burial plot. Modern Hebron may have a reputation of a city in ongoing tension, but historically and archaeologically, it is a fascinating destination. <laughs> 